Hey guys, it's Z, and we're going to talk more about Wizards Unite, specifically potions, how to make them, what ingredients we need, where to find the ingredients, and greenhouses. But before we talk about that, I've got this little cute Harry Potter wand unboxing. Basically, there's a couple of random wands in here, and they're little cutesy ones. So I was going to unbox this and see what I get. So let's have a look. <laughs> Alrighty. So I've got a, a blue thing, which is the stand. Oops. How does one do this? Maybe. Ah, so that's the little stand. And I have got after I open this up, you see this, a little wand. So hold that there, hopefully you can see it. So I'm not quite sure who this wand is because it has a black end. So if it has a black end, could be anyone. So this is, <laughs> this is Draco Malfoy's. So how Slytherin, yay! Even though I'm probably dressed a little bit blue like a Ravenclaw, but yes, I'm Slytherin and I have Draco's wand. Expelliarmus! Anyway, I put this little wand here, so here it is. Anyway, without further ado, let's talk about Wizards Unite and potions. As you can see, there's a diagram here and you'll see this uh, greenhouse with a little red flag on top. That is where you will collect herbs. So every time you see one of these, tap it. There's only a limited amount of herbs you can get. The rest of them need to be found on the ground, but you can also collect energy from greenhouses as well. So if you have a little look here, you can you also get them around the fortresses and inns more often, but they can be randomly found anywhere. So let's have a look at potions. The potions are accessed via the vault and the vault um, capacity of how many potions you carry will depend on what you've up the capacity to. I don't suggest doing many upgrades in potions because you will use them quite a lot. If you're going to upgrade, I would upgrade the capacity of the ingredients because you will find a lot more ingredients than you can use potions. And as you can see, there's lots of ingredients in my vault right now. Now I'm going to talk about different types of ingredients. Uh, let's just first talk about newt spleen. Yes, the dreaded newt spleen. While it is a very helpful herb, it is commonly dropped everywhere. And newt spleen can fill up your vault and ingredients quite quickly. That also goes with honey water. Honey water is usually picked up in sixes. So if you can see that your vault is full, I'd clean up your honey water and your newt spleen. You also will get the good old dragon liver. Although it's great in heal potions, it'll also quickly fill up your inventory in the ingredients section. So get rid of, I'd say, keep about 10 dragon livers and it's nice to have about 10 of every ingredient in your um, ingredient section. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend going above 10 unless you have up to your capacity of your ingredients. So yes, this is the different ways you can delete from the um, vault. You could either use the plus sign or you can type the number in and press delete. But it's quite annoying if you have, you know, found a, an ingredient you need and your vault is full. Okay, let's talk about the cauldron. This is where you make your potions. You can also rent a second cauldron if you're keen to have two cauldrons going at once, if you're really pumping out those potions. I suspect it'd be more useful at uh, higher level, but at the moment I'm just using the one cauldron. Um, you start off with a cauldron and there's nothing in your queue. And the things you, you can make is what you can brew. That means you have enough ingredients to make them. 
I'm making a strong Estamilio potion. I call that medium blue. And there's another one I call the dark blue and the light blue. They're very good in combats and traces in the fortress. Uh, it makes you hit your opponent harder. Now what I'm doing here, and I failed, is I'm entering in master notes. And as you can see, I moved the ladle in the cauldron. Well, master notes will, once complete, shave time of your brewing of your potion. Initially, you will not start off with the right sequence of master notes. It's a game and they want you to find out what, what you need. But if you're a bit naughty like me, go on the internet, type in master notes, and some people have already revealed what they are. So basically the different um, movements will all be written um, on the internet somewhere. If you do it three times, your master notes will stick. Okay, I'm making my favorite potion. Oh no, my second favorite. No, not really. It's witch sharpening, so it ain't that favorite. I've recently unlocked this at level 22. It's used against elites in the fortress. And I can't really say it was specifically helpful in the fortress encounters I have had so far. But as you can see, I just put the master notes in for that potion. When your potions are finished, they will hover above the cauldron. So what you do is you tap to collect them so you can reset your potion queue. Now you can brew again. And you can only tap those potions if your potion capacity allows. So if you look here, I can brew a few potions here and you'll see the Baffio's brain elixir I cannot brew. So I just put a light blue in the queue. As you can see, it's 59 minutes and 50 seconds. So if I were to do the master notes, I take nine minutes off. Here's the ingredients and I'll quickly go through them. I won't read them all. They have cutesy um, little descriptions and how they are in the Harry Potter universe. And um, basically how many of each ingredients. For this particular potion, we're using one of every ingredient. But as you move further down the potion queue to higher level potions, you can use two or three ingredients, same ingredient in your potion. So, okay, I'm going to stick another one in my queue here. The Invigoration Drought. I'm not a fan of this potion. I do make them. You can only use them in the fortress. And I'll go through all the official, um, official uses of the potion and how I actually found the potion. And some of them I didn't find very useful and this is one of them. It's supposed to give you more purple energy in the fortress, but you can only use it while you're within an encounter. So it's not useful to me. I find this potion a waste of space. Um, I do use it, I do brew it just because it's there, but hopefully, because we still are in beta, the usefulness of that potion will change. This is my all-time favorite, the good old vitamin B, Buffaroo's Brain Elixir. And as you can see, there's a quite significant amount of master notes, which are keystrokes on your phone or application. And this takes off 48 minutes. So it's worthwhile doing your master notes on a 12 hour potion. And what this particular potion does is give you bonus XP on your traces, your fortress encounters, and your port keys. So if you've got that green potion and you're in an area where you're doing some action, always pop that potion. Okay, now I'm going to go through, I'm going to have to look them up on my phone, so please excuse me. Silly phone, do as I tell you. Okay, I'm gonna go through all the potions and how I have found them useful. Estimo's potion. Well, you get that in three gradients. You get the normal one, the strong one, and the potent potion. And what that does is it makes your encounters 
you hit harder. So they're very, very useful. I would always make the highest you can working backwards to the lightest one. They all have one ingredient in common and that's that Remy bud and the, um, those bitter root flowers. So always try and keep those in stock, but remember Remy blood can also add up quite quickly in your vault. Very, very useful. The very most useful potion is the healing potion. And always, I never get the ingredient dittany. I can go days without seeing that. It's not something acquired from the greenhouses. It's something dropped on the ground. So, I don't know, Wizard Unite, listen to Z, drop more Dittany. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, the, yeah, the most useful potion is heal potions. Make these whenever you have the correct ingredients. And Dittany will be the one that will hold you back. Ferrufo's Brain Elixir. I love this potion. It is the best. It gives you bonus XP, but the one ingredient that is hard to find is powdered dragon claw. I can go many days without seeing that ingredient and it can be only found on the ground. Won't be in any of the greenhouses. Now, let's talk about some of the loser potions. Strong invigoration drought and invigoration drought. These are a waste of time and space. I do make them just because I'm OCD and I want to get the ingredients out, but I, I try not to pick up the honey water and all the ingredients that go to, for these items, mainly because when you use this potion in the fort, it doesn't deliver. The official description on this sucker says, grants focus for strategic spells in wizarding challenges. So focus is probably that purple status bar you see when you are in the fortress, when you're tapping your spells, but you can't, you, you always use those abilities before you go into combat and you cannot use this potion in that screen. So yeah, it doesn't work. It, that game mechanic doesn't work. So you can, as I said, use them, but I haven't found them very useful at all. Um, the wit sharpening, potion. I was very excited to get it at level 22 until I brewed up a couple and tried to use them in the fortress. Its official description says, increased your spell efficiency against elite foes in challenges. Well, that's crap. I've been fighting elite um, creatures in the fortress. I pop this potion, doesn't hit harder, doesn't defend harder. I have no idea what this is doing. So it doesn't appear to have a positive effect in battles. Yeah, I hope they change it. That's all I can say. That's a bit of a loser potion. And the biggest one, which I thought would be an awesome potion, is the Dwindle Drought. Reduces the confoundable's likelihood of fleeing with the foundable, giving you more chances to cast spells in a trace. Bullshit. <laughs> Boom, boom, boom. I'm sorry, it does not. I have found like rare confoundables and I got really excited, popped a dwindle drought thinking, oh, you can't get away. I have got you and I am going to fight you three more times. Well, guess what? It has departed on the first go after I've popped this potion. It's departed on the second go after I've popped this potion. This potion does not work. So, I don't know if you guys have found it working, good luck because I haven't seen it working. I do brew them, I still keep them in my potions um, vault. I'm just hoping because we are in beta that some of these potions, their powers become more useful. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed um, me talking about potions. Uh, also, the Flora and Fauna event uh, finished two days ago. Wow! I had a blast, you would have seen in my last uh, video. Um, I got rank 24 in my Flora and Fauna in the registry. Um, I'd be interested to hear what you guys got. Uh, 
I also completed my sticker page as you would have seen and yeah no more purple no more buck beaks and unicorns to catch which were quite draining anyway after you've completed the event I'll see you in the next episode for something new and exciting all right bye oh also like and subscribe if you can please bye